Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelina in case some of you guys are new here And if you are new go ahead and click that subscribe button down below I upload every Wednesdays Fridays and sometimes Sundays as for today's video I decided to do a get ready with me kind of Q&A video I wanted to do this video because TikTok has inspired me to make my own Vogue photo shoot. I'm thinking about doing a photo shoot here inside of my house because the weather outside isn't looking so great. It's been really gloomy, cloudy, and rainy the past couple days. I wanted to do my own Vogue photo shoot and if you guys haven't seen those, then I'll put some on the screen right now. <laughs> inspired to do my own so I decided to do a quick tutorial while answering some questions that you guys might have for me as you guys can tell I already did my eyebrows they're a little bit different I try to do that Instagram baddie kind of fluffy eyebrow look as you can tell it doesn't look that great but I promise that the look will be a lot better so while I do my foundation I'm going to be answering the first question first question is how do you make your videos so aesthetically pleasing by the way, I love you and your videos. Usually for me, it's through inspiration by watching other YouTubers and scrolling through Pinterest. Pinterest has seriously helped me become a lot more creative. I recently just downloaded Pinterest and I wish I would have gotten into it sooner, but I just felt like back in the day, Pinterest just wasn't for me. I scroll through Pinterest just like how I will scroll through TikTok. Also, I didn't tell you guys, but I am wearing color contacts by Hapa Kristen. Next is concealer. I will be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and the shade Medium Peach. What are your plans for your birthday? My plans for my birthday is I think I'm just going to be chilling with my cousin and sister for my 21st just because, you know, we're still in quarantine and you can't really do much. I'm thinking about just doing some Korean barbecue and having a seafood boil. I am a huge seafood lover. Really want to have a relaxing and chill 21st birthday. I'm not someone who likes to do anything extreme. I'm not that crazy, wild, like, let's get drunk kind of girl. By the way, you guys, um, this concealer is amazing. You guys need to get your hands on it. I think it's only like $5. I just baked my face and I'm just going to move on to the eyes. So the first palette I'm going to be using is the ColourPop Butter Me Up. I think this palette is gorgeous. I played with it a few times just because of this shade right here. It's so gorgeous. CoverGirl eyeshadow palette. It also has some purple tones in here. Okay, while I do my eyeshadow, I'm going to answer another question. Would you ever get a puppy? Of course, I always wanted to get a puppy for the longest time, but my parents were never a fan, so I could never have a dog at home. I've always wanted either a golden retriever or a corgi. I think they're just so cute. They're the cutest little thing ever. I honestly don't even know what I'm doing. I am just going with the flow. Oh, I have not been answering a question. Where do you mostly shop at for your clothes? LOL, love your YouTube content. Thank you. I either like to shop at consignment stores such as Plato's Closet or Yes Style. I really love Forever 21. I think that's mainly where I shop at. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? This is a really tough question because I want to live everywhere. I am someone who really loves traveling the world. Um, my top five places that I want... Oh my gosh, okay, I, I keep getting sidetracked and I'm so sorry about that. I really want to live somewhere close to the ocean. I am a beach girl. I love the water and just the sun. That is probably where I want to live, anywhere close to the beach. That is my answer. My top five places that I do want to travel to is first, um, I'm really stuck between either Thailand or South Korea. So Thailand, South Korea, Bora Bora. I think I want to go to one of the European countries, but I'm not really sure where. I really don't know why, but I feel like I got a black eye. 
I'm just not really good at blending. But comment down below your answers to these questions. I am curious to know your thoughts as well. I love reading your comments. I read every single comment. I want to thank Jeffrey's sister for getting me this for Christmas. I haven't got the chance to play around with it yet, but today is the day. What's the greatest achievement you've done over the past year? I feel like there's a lot, but obviously I'm caught off guard right now and I just can't think of any right now. But I want to say is definitely my YouTube. I honestly never thought that I would hit almost 40,000 subscribers, not even 5,000 you guys. This year my goal was to hit 5,000 subscribers and we're almost at 40,000. I started off YouTube as just like a hobby, but I never thought that I will actually continue doing YouTube. I think YouTube has been my greatest achievement for 2020. I am really grateful and blessed to be even having a YouTube channel and having so many amazing supporters and followers and also to be getting paid off of videos and content that I created and also getting paid for just doing something that I love doing. Oh, also um, the last question about my greatest achievement. I never thought that one of my videos would ever hit over a million views. Right now my Alexa's Ren video is at 3.5 million views. First of all, you know, as a YouTuber that is like probably one of everyone's dream goal is to have one of their videos blow up and hit over a million views. That is just another greatest achievement of 2020 for me. Does that not look gorgeous? Oh, I keep forgetting to answer questions. Okay, so now I'm going to be moving on to my YouTube community poll and answering some questions that you guys have on there. Where are you from? I am from North Carolina, East Coast, represent. Next question is how do you stay motivated? How do you stay, how do you, I'm sorry, I don't know English. How do you motivate yourself to do workout challenges and stick to them? If I know my body isn't feeling the most cleanest and the most healthiest, like I'm just the type of person who's not gonna sit around and, and just let myself feel that way because if I let myself feel that way, I'm not going to be happy. I just find influencers who who motivates me such as Chloe Ting, Pamela Reeve, Alexis Ren. Usually when I start a workout challenge or a workout fitness, I always have to remind myself why I started it in the first place. Some days like I'm not even the most active. I'm going to be honest. Some weeks I'm not even the most active. But once you once I have that feeling of ooh, I'm not feeling the most greatest either I literally get my butt up and just start working out and once I do that I feel amazing and I'm just like why did you stop working out Angelina just keep going you're gonna feel better at the end of the day like you just have to go in with a really good mindset at the end of the day is your body you got to take care of her you only have one life do what you can to keep her healthy all right so now I'm going to line up my eyes and I can't talk during this process just because I don't breathe when I do it. So now moving on to eyelashes. I'm going to be using the Kiss Lashes and Teddy. These are my favorite by far. Can you tell me how to not stress when filming and let your personality shine through and don't act it? Because I'm afraid if I film, I might not be entertaining enough. This is something that I obviously struggle when I first started YouTube. I try my best to just look at the lens or look at my viewfinder, practice in front of a camera, practice in front of your friends, a family member, how to let your personality shine through. First of all, if your subscribers don't like you who you are, then they're not your real subscribers and they're not your real fans and friends. Just be yourself and try to act like how you would around your friends. Everyone is entertaining in their own way, so don't think that you're not an entertaining person because someone on the internet can find you entertaining, but other people won't. And that is just something that you have to learn and have to take in that not everyone on the internet is going to like you. That is that is just what I've learned recently as well. I'm going to get off sidetrack for a little bit and I wanted to talk to you guys about why I don't film as much fitness video and I didn't learn this the hard way. It took me a long time to actually get back into filming fitness videos just because I realized that people on the internet is not as nice and I literally will cry every single time 
I would get a really mean and negative comment. Sorry if I'm putting this part in the video. It's just because I do want to clarify up some things for my subscribers who enjoy my fitness videos. I am going to continue filming more of those because you guys actually enjoy it and I actually enjoy filming it for you guys. I feel like I haven't fully healed yet from that phase and I just went into a really, really, really dark hole and it just wasn't the greatest and it didn't make me happy because at first filming fitness videos made me super, super happy but it's just the aftermath of it of receiving comments and hate comments and negative comments and just talking about my body and how I look. It didn't make me feel good about myself. So I had to stop filming fitness videos for a couple weeks I think. As a YouTuber, like I said, I hate saying that. It's just something that you have to get used to and I feel like that is so sad to say but it's something that I had to get used to and something that I had to look bypass. Wow, that was just a whole therapy session for me. I'm so sorry, you guys. Here is how the eyes look and I need to put mascara on the bottoms of my eyelashes. I had more questions, but I'm so sorry. I couldn't get through all of them. I really hope to do a part two of this series and just continue doing chit chat, get ready with me videos. I love sitting down and just talking with you guys. Right now, I'm about to do this photo shoot. I'm going to have my boyfriend take some pictures of me. Also, you guys, this is the makeup look. I think it turned out so freaking good. Like, wow, I look so good. I'm so sorry, you guys. I have to hype myself up a little bit, but I look really good. I look so cute. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm going to do a little photo shoot. I'm going to charge my battery real quick. I'm going to do my hair off camera. I'll be right back. It's going to take me like probably 30 minutes, but two seconds for you guys. So yeah, I'll be right back in a second. Just drop a pen and then you send your location Slide into your mind so silky Up under the down we fly Clean it up just to make it feel guys so I felt really really bad because I couldn't extend the video I'm going to make it up to you guys and do a part two adding it into this video so I'm in this black dress this is from JJ house I'll show you guys the full outfit this is the makeup look that I decided to go for today it's just like a really simple bold sexy look I feel like I'm taking senior pictures again just because of the black top this dress is just a black dress it has the open leg right here and it sort of has like a train at the bottom um another thing it doesn't fit me i have to do some diy stuff to the dress i'm just going to be filming on my iphone 11 pro max so i'm sorry if the next video or the next clip is like super super bad quality yeah you guys i'm actually just filming myself right now like wow i look actually pretty cute so yeah let's Let's take some pictures. I'm filming on my phone right now, so that's why the quality is kind of bad. But usually when I take pictures, I usually tell Jeffrey to be the model first. Just because um, he's not a photographer and that's just not his specialty. <laughs> so it takes a while for him to actually get the hang of it. And he is um, the person behind the camera taking my pictures for me. All of my Instagram pictures are taken by him. So he's sitting on the bed right now because we can't go out because of the weather. But I usually just try to find a spot in my apartment and just make it look like, you know, I went out to go take some pictures. All right, you ready, model? <laughs> I'm really sorry that I had to cut the filming part kind of short just because I didn't want to get demonetized. My dress was just rising up and it just wasn't looking cute. And I think some of them turned out really, really great. And yeah, so I'm really, really excited to show you guys the results. So this is how the pictures turned out for today. I can't wait for you to come my way. I've been for a while.
Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Is it Vogue worthy? Overall, I really enjoy filming this video for you guys. I hope this inspired you to make your own Vogue cover magazine. If you guys do decide to make your own Vogue inspired photo shoot as well, please, 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 please tag me in your pictures. I would love to see your creations. I know today's video was a long one because I added a chit chat get ready with me session. But I hope you guys don't mind getting to know me a little bit more and I also really enjoy sitting down and talking with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me and my channel. Also, leave a comment. I read every single comment. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!